Hello everyone! Welcome to uh, Trial 2 of episode 141 of Six Figure Live. My name is Ben Hartley, coming to you guys live from the... Where is it? Wait for it. Home Goods parking lot. We're just chilling out here today. Uh, you guys, welcome to the show. Um, if this is your first time joining, say hi. Leave some hearts, some, some thumbs up. Drop a line. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Ginny is watching. What's up, Ginny? Um, super glad that you guys are here today. Uh, I had a really crazy busy day. Um, and I, I didn't get a chance to go live to you guys earlier. And so I wanted to make sure that this happens. Look, here's the entire purpose of this thing. I do this every day. Even on the days, by the way, today's one of the days I didn't want to do it. I'll be quite honest with you. I had a lot going on today. Uh, just feeling lack of motivation, to be quite honest with you. And... Um, but I still showed up. I still have to do it. I'm here. I'm here for you guys because there's days that you guys don't feel like showing up. There's days that you guys don't feel like putting it in on your business. And the entire purpose that I'm doing this is to be able to be that voice in your life, a continual voice, by the way, a near nagging voice in your business that Monday through Friday, you can turn into this live show. And if you catch it live, awesome. Please say hi. If you do, if you don't watch it pre recorded I don't care, but you can find someone who's on the other end who's doing this, who's putting in the work, who's actually trying to build a business, an incredibly successful business, right? And it takes work and it takes hustle. And, and there's days that you, you show up in your living room uh, or you drive to the office and you just don't want to do it. You're just not feeling it. And so I want to help to be that person to come alongside you guys and, and be that driving force for you. And so um, that's really it. I mean, that's, if any, if there's any, look, if that's my only message today, then I hope that it was worth it. Um, because there's just some days that you just, just don't want to show up. Uh, so anyhow, Peter's here. What's up? Awesome, Peter. Uh, glad you got a chance to watch the confidence video. Um, you guys, I put out a, a video on confidence, uh, you think yesterday, uh, and please go watch it. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. Um, I just wanted to kind of bottle up all of my thoughts on something that I find to be so incredibly powerful. It's one of the most, um, uh, uh discernible qualities between someone who's going to win and someone who's not. Um, not just in photography business either. And, uh, and I wanted to kind of give you all of my thoughts on it. And so please go watch that. Here's the deal. This video is called, um, I tell it encourage your enemies. One of the things that I talked about in, in the confidence video is how, and you guys have all heard this. Uh, it's, it's the line comparison is the thief of joy, right? And, and how we look at other photographers work around us and we start comparing ourselves and we start beating ourselves up when we start, um, it just, it really messes with our self-esteem. It messes with our confidence. We start second guessing everything and we don't move the needle, right? It, it results in inaction. But I wanted to unpack this a little bit more because one of the things that I talk about in the confidence video is how there's that person in your life. And you know who I'm talking about. It's that person. It's the person who, when you see them on Facebook, your heart starts to just sink a little bit. Or maybe it starts to beat really rapidly. Or maybe you start to, as soon as you see them, you start comparing yourself immediately to them. And this might, this might be in business. This might not be. Right? This might be the person who just bought the brand new home. This might be the person whose kids just are nicer than your kids. I'm just being real with this, right? This might be the person who uh, they make more money than you. Or maybe they did. Maybe they did just win the new, uh, the last round of Fearless and you didn't. Uh, and they're getting more brides. This is the photographer who's, uh, who booked the bride that you met with last week. And they decided to go with that photographer anyhow, right? And you know that you have that person in your life. And I just I, I call these these people enemies, not because they're evil people, or they're they're diabolical, or they're enemies, but they're enemies to you. They're enemies to your self-esteem, they're enemies to the confidence, not because of what they've done, but because of the position that you've put them in. You have deemed them as an enemy in your own brain because as soon as you see them, they're probably actually the sweetest damn people in the world, but you're too caught up in your own bullshit uh, to, to allow them to, to exist in that space separately apart from you, right? They can win and you can win. And one of the big hacks that I do in my life, because I have these people, so just so you guys know, I have these people in my life. They show up on my feed, they show up on Instagram, uh, wherever it may be, and I immediately, instead of, instead of thinking about them, I immediately think about myself and I think about what I'm not doing and what I'm not winning at and the couples that I'm not booking and the home that I could have, right? I do this too. I'm human, right? And so one of the biggest hacks that I've uh, begun to implement in my life is, is when I get that impulse to start comparing myself, I stop and I encourage them. 
I stop and I compliment them. I stop and I like their shit. I heart their posts on Instagram. And then I move on. And here's the trick. Don't overthink it when they don't respond. Don't overthink it when they don't leave a comment on your comment. Don't overthink it when they like everyone else's post, but they don't like yours. Don't overthink it when you shoot them a text and you say, hey, great job on that Fearless Award, and they don't text you back, right? And by the way, on this note too, um, let, let's say they actually are a douche. Let's say they actually are an enemy, but you still do this because this isn't about them. This is about you in your own headspace. Let's say that they are, right? I'm not saying go befriend them. I'm not saying make them your best friend. There's plenty of people that I will just simply do this. I will compliment, I will encourage, and then I'll move on and I'm not gonna become best friends with them, you guys. There's still gonna be that space in my head. I'm just not gonna become best friends with them and that's okay. It's just real. Like it, I won't be best friends with everyone. Um, but for that moment, I'm gonna set myself free. It's about setting myself free, okay? Um, I just wanna encourage you with that because there's those people in your life and, um, and you just may need to set yourself free by encouraging them, by liking a post, by hearting something, and then moving and taking a deep breath and just move on and get on with it, move past it, right? Um, just for that moment, just move past it. Um, all right, you guys, that's about it. Uh, I gotta go buy some things real quick. Hey, my wife's watching, shoot. Uh, she's catching me at Home Goods. Leslie, do you want anything, babe? I love you. Let me know if you want anything at Home Goods, honey. I'm buying some stuff for the office. All right, you guys, I appreciate you. Tomorrow's Q&A Friday. Get your questions in because I want to answer them. Tomorrow's Q&A Friday. There's a, uh, there's a bunch of questions um, already that have hit the inbox. Uh, you, I know, I, no, Tony, I'm not about to rob the store. It looks like I am. Uh, Thomas, I woke up at, uh, I'd have to double check, um, my sleep schedule, but I'm pretty sure I woke up a little bit late. I woke up at like 5.33. And when I say I woke up, it means that's the time that I actually moved my ass out of my bedroom it was about 5.33 AM, uh, a little bit late. Okay, you guys, I, I appreciate you. Um, oh, one last thing, one last thing on this topic. When you go and you reach out to that person that you just need to like their stuff or encourage them, please don't do this. Don't say, Hey, I just wanted to be real with you. I'm struggling with some self. I'm struggling with some jealousy, and I and it's kind of um, hurt, like affecting my life. And I just felt like I needed to encourage you um, because don't don't do that. Don't open this big can of worms where you start like letting people know that like this is something going on because it, 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 that's going to get weird. It's going to get really uh, odd, especially when it's about like their family or their husband or their kids or the life that they live or or their their beauty or their workout schedule. Don't be like, hey, I'm struggling uh, with feeling jealous of you and so I needed to reach out to just encourage you. Don't do that. Just like their stuff and move on. All right, appreciate you guys. Cheers.